Okay, I just did a quick little video on uh, centering images in GIMP, and I thought maybe if you have a whole lot of images that you want to center, uh, you might want to script it out, in which case Image Magic, which is a command line tool, should be in your repositories, is a very useful tool for doing that sort of thing. Um, so real quick, right here I have a folder, and I have five small images and one large image. So here's the large image, and then within that image I want to center each of these little tux images. And I want to center them and I want to create a new file for each one with that centered in it. So the way you would center one image is you would use the composite tool. Again, this is part of uh, image magic. Uh, so you'd want to install the image magic package if you haven't already. Then we're going to say dash gravity center. And you want to spell gravity correct, correctly. And okay, so this is saying we're going to take one image and center another and then how we want to output it. So next we give it the name of the smaller image that we want to center. In this case, here the one's called 306.png. And then the larger image is lx113-yjpg, whatever your larger image is called. And then what you want to call your output image, which I'll just call output and dot whatever format you want. I'll say JPEG. So we do that. And now we can display our output.png. And there you go. You can see Tux is centered on this larger image. Now, how do we put this in a script? Well, we just loop it. So what we would do is we'd say 4i in, and all the smaller images are called PNG. So we're going to loop through that. So for that, then uh, do. And then we'll do the same command with two changes. One, we have to have it loop through each name, which in this case will be a value of i, so the variable i, which we created right here. So whatever you call this here, you'll do dollar sign that here, and it's always a good idea to put it in quotations. And our large image is gonna stay the same, but we wanna have a different output name each time it loops, otherwise it would just override the previous one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say dollar sign capital random so what I'm going to do here, let's make that a little bit smaller so you can see it all on one line. And then we have to finish our loop. So we're creating a loop, looping through every PNG in this folder. What we're going to do, we're going to loop. So we're going to do this. We're going to use composite to center the image, which image, the image that we're grabbing from our loop here. We're going to place it on top of this large image, and then we're going to output it I'm doing it as a JPEG. If you did .png, it would say it as PNG or one of the many file formats that uh, ImageMagic recognizes. And uh, dollar sign $random is just a system variable that uh, every time you run it, it gives you a random number. Here's an example. I'm going to split my screen here. I'm just going to say echo dollar sign $random, all capital, and it gives me a random number. If I run it again, it gives me a different random number. So it's just going to give the name, the file, a different random name each time. We'll hit enter. And it didn't take very long. If I do PC man, which is my file uh, browser, we use whatever file browser you use, you can see that we've created five new images or six new images. And, oh no, we created five because we already had one output that we created. So here we go. There's this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So that is how you can loop through. And if you want to center a whole bunch of images on an image, and create different output files. Don't have to do it manually in GIMP. One simple command will loop through all that and do it for you. Hope you found this useful. And as always, I hope you visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.